bit more. You're um, like Larry then right now. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously we're skeptical about some of the numbers that we've seen today and, and some of the rally that's ensued after it. So it's something to keep your eye on, certainly. I'd like to see a much bigger pullback so we can really deploy some of the money that we've got sitting on the sidelines and have a real healthy rally without the Fed behind it. Yep. Explain to those people out there who may be puzzling why a trader and a, and a smart analyst would be hoping for another pullback in this market. I mean, wh why is that advantageous in the longer term for investors, Matt? Well, it's a, oh, get yeah, Matt. Yeah. Well, no, I just think that you want to deploy your money at the cheapest point possible. If you've missed this run-up already, you want to get in uh, at a lower entry point than you're seeing now, and you want some uh, something other than the Fed to be really your backstop there. And that's what I'm looking for as a trader. I don't want any other cross currents going on. I want to be sure that I'm buying a U.S. company, quality earnings, and without any background you know, noise from the Fed. And like you said, Larry, the market may have already anticipated the strength that we're starting to see in the economy here, right? Right. We all know, those of us who have been around the markets, it just doesn't go up all the time. Last year was a year where it just went up and up and up and up. And it's just not going to keep doing that. And so we're looking for a little better entry point here, as Matt said. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you both for your thoughts on today's market. Appreciate it. Anytime, Bill. All right. We're going out near the highs of the session, uh, up 62 points on the industrial average as we head toward the close. Stand by. Those numbers from AIG and CEO Bob Ben Moshe joining Kelly Evans coming up on the second hour of the closing bell. I'll see you tomorrow somewhere, Kelly. Welcome to the closing bell. I'm Kelly Evans on this Thursday. Here's how we're finishing the day on Wall Street. Stocks started out stormy. We had a tricky session overnight, but the tone here at the close seems to be much better, and certainly much better, by the way, than the weather across most of much of the country and certainly outside here. The Dow up about 61 points, finishing back above 16,000, the closing level again, 16,025 or so as the numbers settle down. Now, the Nasdaq adding about 40 points, almost 1% by far the outperformer today in the S&P 500. A decent session, up half a percent, adding 10 points to 18.49. Let's talk it out and get right to it with today's panel. Joining me now, CBC contributor Elon Mui, our very own John Ford and Mary Thompson, and Jane Wells joining us from sunny California. We all hate you, Jane. And also with us, Fast Money <laughs> contributor Guy Adami. It is great to see all of you. Uh, we know we're going to get to lots of earnings this hour, AIG in particular. Before we do all that, though, just want to sort of talk out the session uh, that we had today. Guy, why the turnaround? What's Shock. Why the better sentiment? Yeah, I was talking of again, my fellow lumber bringer BK. I think when it seemed to, when the Italian situation seemed to rectify itself.